Hi, I'm Eric Saunders. I'm the EVP here at Energizer Solar. Today, we're gonna walk you through this installation we just wrapped here in Santa Rosa, California. You're gonna watch us install the inverter, our battery, and the gateway to create our full energy stack ESS system. This particular customer has a five and a half kilowatt system on his roof already. So this is gonna be an AC coupled retrofit. And he has a 70 amp sub panel that we're gonna back up most of his house today. This is gonna provide backup power, allow the customer to offset from high electricity rates, and in general provide some resiliency and savings to his family. This is our inverter. We have our battery here, and then the gateway back near the main panel. So let's get to the installation and show you just how fast this energy stack system installs. This is our Energizer Solar Energy Stack product. There's four main components. Uh, we have an inverter, a gateway, and then we'll get over to our battery and our battery with the BMS built in. So we're gonna start by looking at what comes in the box in the inverter. You open it up, this is how it ships. Comes with a, a mounting bracket, mounting hardware, and then the inverter is in here. We also have our gateway. This is where a lot of the components come in. It ships with five CTs, um, one for your solar if you're retrofitting this system uh, to existing solar. You have two grid CTs and two other CTs if you're integrating a generator into the system as well. On top of that, uh, there's also mounting hardware for the gateway. As you open it up, inside is a gateway, comes wrapped and padded. So now we have our two battery components. Uh, this system that we're installing happens to be about 16 kilowatt hours. So there's four batteries. Each one has about four kilowatt hours. So first we have, we call our main battery. Uh, this comes with most of the components that you need. This has a four kilowatt hours plus a BMS. And in, in there, we have the battery wires and comms cables between the battery and the inverter. And we also have miscellaneous parts, including the Wi-Fi dongle. And we also ship with some ground cabling as well. Also in this particular box is the feet for the base unit. You screw these in. And then there is a cable cover that will secure your conduit to. In the regular battery box is what we call our subs. It's a simple battery with two connectors to secure the batteries to each other. There's handles on each of the batteries. You can just grab them like that. That's what's in the box. For your first battery, we need to screw the feet in. Find it easier to flip it over. Once you're done installing the feet, you have to grab the clip and plug that in. Plug it directly in. This only goes into the base unit. We'll walk it over and put it over there. It's pretty perfect. I'm just adjusting the feet so that we have a nice level surface to work from. Lock the feet in when you're done. The batteries just connect. Our last component will be the battery with the BMS, battery management system. So you can see the connection there, you put it down, it's connected. After you've placed the batteries, you want to secure the batteries together using this screw. There's one for each battery on each side. When you're installing your energy stack system, make sure you look for a clear space that meets your local code requirements. The system can be installed indoors or outdoors. Pay attention to your local weather and the environmental specifications of your system. So right now I've laid out our bottom of inverter, top of inverter, and then also where our bracket wants to mount. Our bottom set of holes are going to be at 12 inches from the top. So I like to mount my first screw. Then we can put the level on it. Mount the inverter on the bracket. Yep, just pop right on top. Hold on, there you go. Sweet. There we go. Set screw. Perfect. 
We're going to use this space for the gateway. The gateway is our transfer switch and where all the center wiring lands. So we're just going to make our two inch knockout here in the bottom. He's just laying out his gutter for wiring connecting between the main panel and our gateway. So this is going to be the main conduit. So this is kind of the heart of the installation. To mount the gateway, there's these little clips on the side. You just pull them out and then you take the screws off the faceplate. We do include an e-stop for the projects that need it. Now he's mounting the gateway. So now we're just mounting the gateway to the wall, ensuring it's level. So once the inverter is secure, remove the cover. And this is a wiring section of the inverter. What we're gonna do now is wire from the BMS up into the inverter. Here's your battery connections. If you have a new solar install, here's your MPPTs where you string in your inverters. And then you have your comms section down here. This is your grid input if you're not using a gateway. In this install and most installs, you'll be using the grid input in the gateway. And then we also have a, a grounding bar here for your connections. Also from the BMS, what we'll be wiring up right now is the comms cable that's included. So now that we're wiring up the batteries to the inverter, you remove the caps from these connectors. These are the DC battery connectors. And then you can unscrew the comms input as well. Both cables are shipped with the batteries. We'll connect both of these directly to the system. Okay, and then at the same time, we can input the comms cable. So this clicks in like that, and then we'll cover it with the cover and the conduit. So then we got our battery positive negative connections here. So I decided to just roll up the battery cable inside the box, but you can obviously cut it and crimp new ends on. Cat six is the next connection. What we're gonna do now is run the connection between the inverter and the gateway near the meter. So here we have a 200 amp main service panel. Right now we're set up with 20 amps and this is gonna be our in-phase AC coupled that we're gonna be tying into the system. We have our 70 amp uh, sub panel and that's what we're gonna be putting through our transfer switch. And this is the 20 amp solar. So here we have the gateway, it's kind of the hub of the whole system. We have our backup load terminal, our non-backup load terminal. You have your grid terminals and your generator terminal as well. So this is your grid input. Your main will be coming into here. You can either do as a service entry with a 200 amp breaker here, or do it as a non-service entry and leave this without a breaker, which is what we'll be doing today. If it is a service entry, you leave this bar here. If it is not, then you would remove this bar, which we'll be doing as well. If you have a generator, this is where you would input the generator input. This is our energizer solar inverter terminal, followed by the existing solar inverter terminal. Then we have our smart terminals up here. This is our comms board. We'll put in our CTs from the solar. We'll have our grid CTs. And then this will be the inputs uh, that will be running from our inverter and battery into here. This is your neutral bar and your, your grounding bar. That's just gonna be running wire here for a minute. Uh, this is going to be the wires that feed the gateway. It's going to be its grid connection. Now we're wiring the backup loads to the gateway. In this particular installation, it's a partial home backup. So these wires are going to a 70 amp sub panel. 
just note that in, in the installation where you are not using this as the main service panel, we need to remove the Bonnie jumper. You're doing grounding? Yep. Just removing the solar. Tie our solar conductors back in here. Yes. So we've got our comms wire and also our AC conductors. Um, they've gone through the wall. Now we're basically going to be just installing these, hooking them up inside the inverter itself. So I'm just gonna start off by hooking up the AC voltage. We have L1, L neutral in the center, and then L2. And then we got our grounding bar right here below. So we're gonna start with the ground. There's two inputs, one for 12 volt, one for ground. We're using cat six here for the comms. That's gonna go into the comm in here. So here we have our positive and negative 12 volt. And then here we have the communication lines. Inverter's done. Inverter's done. So we have 12 volt here. It's gonna land here at the top. Hi, how's it going? So I just attached the um, communication lines to the communication out port that goes to the batteries, as well as the 12 volt and ground that powers the communications. Are we ready for power outage? Turn the batteries on. Now we're gonna install our solar CTs. We ship with one solar CT. It's gonna wrap around the solar input from the existing solar, and then we'll use these wires to connect up here to our solar CT input on the board. One thing to keep in mind, there are arrows. The arrows need to point towards the solar. So in this case, the solar is in that side, and we will connect it just like that. Now we'll connect the solar CTs. It goes white and blue. Shove the white in, push the blue in, make sure they're secure. So now we have our grid CTs. We provide two grid CTs, or 250 amps, and you're gonna put one around each input. Again, keep in mind the arrows, the arrows go towards the grid. Wrap around again, make sure they're secure. Same thing here. There you go. We take the same cables, they are labeled L1 and L2 on the cable. So you put them into the L1, L2. Excellent. Connect, connect. Now the Wi-Fi dongle is lit up. You can start to commission the system. 
turned on the inverter and the solar, turned on the battery, turned on the grid. With that, you can start to commission the system. Go into the Energizer app, set up the Wi-Fi configuration. Simply click that. We can scan the QR code. And then you connect to the customer's Wi-Fi. Now add the new client. Enter the address and then you add device. So you scan the QR code on the inverter, simply type in some note about the inverter. So you scan the barcode and it finds the barcode. Now the customer will receive an email and be able to set up their account. That's it. When energizing the system, if you have a solar coming in, this is your DC switch. Since this is an AC coupled, we're leaving this in the off position. To energize the battery, open up the breaker. Turn on the breaker first. Once that's on, you press this. And now you can see the lights starting up. You see each of them are communicating. There's green lights turning on. So after we've turned on the grid, we've turned on the batteries. The inverter was initializing. Now it's connected. Solid green is good. If there was an error in connection, there would be a red light here. But right now, everything is on and communicating. And we can do a nice little pull. It's a complete install. All your power is working in there? Okay. 